Your top story, the presidency will continue to pay the legal fees of former President Jacob Zuma based on a 2006 agreement. In two responses issued yesterday, President Cyril Ramaphosa replied to both the EFF and the DA regarding the decision to pay for Zuma's legal fees. President Ramaphosa says the presidency will stop paying if a court reviews the arrangement and sets it aside. He says that Section 3, Subsection 3 of the State Attorney Act was used when determining whether or not government should fund Zuma's legal fees. However, the DA is unhappy with the response and is expected to lodge a court challenge to Zuma's legal funding in the coming days. The opposition in Parliament also seeks clarity on the way forward on former President Jacob Zuma's fees. Which law were you relying on when you paid this monies? Because the law that most of your people refer to is actually not that clear as to whether the state can pay for such offenses. And since now the president has lost the spy tapes with that agreement, are you now saying is he going to pay from his personal uh, coffers. But also, do you, the amount you are pointing at, we don't think that it includes cases like Nkandla case, cases like uh, the public protector's case, which the court was very clear that he must pay from his personal uh, pocket. Honorable Malema is quoting amounts of 64 million. I am not aware of that. We have been using the agreement, Honorable uh, Speaker and Honorable Malema, the agreement that was struck between uh, former President Jacob Zuma and the government as this instrument that has enabled the government to help pay the money on the understanding, as the agreement clearly states, that uh, the money will be paid back if he is found to have been personally uh, responsible uh, for these acts. Now, that was an agreement.